good morning everyone so in the last class we have started with this chapter number 6 that is rounds traders and craft people and in this chapter we have understood regarding many uh, kind of towns and we have also understood regarding hampi which is in karnataka a very important town which was meant for many purposes now the next important town which emerged and flourished in the medieval period is masoli patnam now where is masoli patnam masoli patnam is in andhra pradesh okay you know on the east uh, western coastal area uh, on your eastern coastal area this is your coastline and this is your eastern coastal area and above it is northern sekas and here down it is kormandal coast so here is the location of masoli patnam okay masoli patnam is also called as machli patnam why because it's one of the gateway is decorated with the eyes of a fish that is why it is called as the machli patnam now it was founded in the 14th century by the arab traders okay who came to in southern india and you know they founded this city which is known as masoli patnam and also known as machli patnam now because it is a coastal area so trading was the main you know function of this area and many people from other countries you know uh, used to trade with this and uh, masoli patnam like the dutch the english and the french people okay masoli patnam used to trade with many other countries like indonesia thailand and malaysia and sea links were established and because of these new sailings arab countries were you know actually helpful in uh, the arab countries to establish you know uh, trading with here with the people it also developed as a weaving and dyeing industries you know it was uh, very much famous for kalamkari now what is kalamkari kalamkari is actually you know painting designs on the fabrics which is done by the help of a bamboo kalam or a pen and it was also you know famous for weaving industries also so this is how masoli patnam what no, was not only famous for uh, trading with another countries as a port town but it was also famous for its craft also okay after masoli patnam we have surat now you know surat is called as the gateway to the west why it is called as gateway to the west because due to its location the surat is actually located in gujarat and because gujarat itself is a coastal area and that is why it was very easy for the surat to transport with transport with uh, the western nation that is why it was called as the gateway to the west it is located on the banks of the river tapti which flows into gujarat and from the very beginning from the during the mughal period only this big place become more famous and famous for trading because at that time many european travelers came to india and they asked permissions from the mughal emperors to establish their trading posts over there okay so it has fertile hinterland means a lot of area is there where food and other resources are there a very good banking community is there now what are the articles of trade over here in surat is that it was famous for silk indigo which is a color and zari work and jewelry also very you know raw cotton was transported to bengal and very fine cotton was it transported back from bengal to surat and then it was transported to surat and to be shipped to another western countries like asia africa and malabar coast also okay it used to have a custom house whenever people used to come to india for trading they have to pay certain kind of a fees to the custom area okay there was imperial mint what is imperial mint that whenever other country people when they came to india for trading then they can exchange their gold and silver into the exchange of coins of mughal empire <coughs> there was a lot of fight between a lot of you know european people among who will establish their supremacy over surat so in the beginning portuguese people have main control over this area and then the english people okay they wanted to develop east india company over here and they actually took permission from the mughal emperor also and they you know for a very short period of time they were actually successful in establishing their main headquarters into surat 
now how now this was the cause of their decline also because you know there was a constant battle between maratha leaders and you know the mogul emperors also like for example aurangzeb was there and that is why because mogul empire declined after aurangzeb that is why they lost control over the surat and because they lost control and that is why britishers also lost control over surat and they shifted their headquarters from uh, from surat to kambe and surat was finally after a, a little bit of period you know was finally took taken over by the britishers in the 1759 okay so this is was the reason for the decline of surat also so by this we have completed our entire chapter thank you so much